Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Adda for IT. My name is Kushbu and in this video we are going to discuss about one of the very important topic in context of Hadoop that is its features. So in this video we will look at what are the different different features of Hadoop that make it so special and demanding technology in the big data domain. So these are different different features that is mentioned we will be discussing about each one of that one by one. So the first feature of Hadoop is cost effective means Hadoop does not require any special or specialized kind of hardware to get implemented and that's what makes Hadoop cost effective. Also it requires a kind of hardware that is termed as commodity hardware so this commodity hardware means that inexpensive hardware means the hardware which is not so expensive the second feature of hadoop is parallel processing hadoop provides parallel processing means at a single time processing could happen across multiple nodes such as in a cluster there will be different different nodes and these nodes are nothing but machines present in a cluster so at one time in these all system processing could be done and that is termed as parallel processing means at one time processing could happen on the multiple system and also Hadoop provides large large cluster of nodes means one single cluster there could be multiple system or multiple nodes that is why it provides more computing power and huge storage system also Hadoop provides large cluster of nodes means in a single cluster there could be multiple system multiple number of system or machines or nodes you can say that is why it provides large computing power and a huge storage system now let's discuss about the third feature of Hadoop that is called as fault tolerance now let us understand this fault tolerance in detail because this is very very important so fault tolerance means what if there is any failover then how Hadoop is going to manage that failover so till now you would have understood that in a single cluster there are multiple nodes or there are multiple machines or there are multiple system you can see so this is let's say system 1 system 2 or let's say you can say it is block 1 block 2 block 3 block 4 and block 5 so in my previous video i already have explained about hadoop and its component so you can go and check out that video if you have not watched till now so this is a cluster in which multiple systems are there means if a data is going to come then that data will be exploited in these all blocks suppose for the time being if this third node got crashed so what do you think the data will be lost take a moment and think so the answer is no the data is not going to be lost why because when the data used to be splitted along these all clusters so that particular data is copied in three system that is something called as replication method so by replication method the data will be splitted and will get copied into three system so this three system is by default if you want to change at any point of time you can just change this replication factor as per your need so the data is going to be copied onto the tree system. Suppose if in case one node got crashed, so that copy will be left out in the other two nodes. Let's say that particular data got copied on this second, third and fifth. So suppose this third block is going to crash at any point of time. So you can get that copy of data in other two system that is block number two or block number five. So by this way data is not lost at any cost and by this way Hadoop tolerates the fault that is going to occur at any point of time. Now let's discuss about the fourth feature of Hadoop that is called as automatic failover management. Now by the name itself it shows that it used to manage the failover automatically. Now how does this Hadoop manages the failover automatically let's understand. Let's take the same example. This is the same cluster and there are five machines or five nodes inside this particular cluster. Maybe at any point of time, this 
third node or this third system got crashed okay and some kind of failover occurred in this third system so how does how it will manage automatically what it does is that it will replace this particular third system with the other system at the same place one another system will be replaced and all the kinds of data that is present in this particular block that is third will be exchanged to this particular this new system all kind of configuration that was there present in the third block will be transferred or will be managed with this new system so by this way hadoop manages fade over automatically so if in case this will be managed and configured on all the clusters so there is no such need of admins to configure or look over the clusters now let's discuss about the fifth feature of hadoop that is heterogeneous cluster means in a single cluster there will be heterogeneous number of system means suppose let's this cluster as an example so there is five nodes present inside this system so it is not mandatory that these all five system will be of same configuration maybe the kind of operating system that these all system will use can differ at any time maybe this first system could be of different vendor having different operating system maybe this second system can be from different vendor using a different kind of operating system let's say first this first machine is using the linux operating system of maybe solaris after that let's say this second system uses fedora operating system that is again of linux and let's say this third system that is using ubuntu linux so in a particular cluster different different system could be of different different configuration could be of different different operating system so this is something meant by heterogeneous cluster now the last feature of hadoop is it's highly scalable means we can scale up or scale down the hadoop cluster as per our need suppose in case i want to or i have a requirement of addition of some components like ram or hard drive in a cluster so at that point of time i can simply add the ram or required hardware component in the particular cluster suppose i want to remove some kind of component within this cluster so even that is possible that is meant by highly scalable means as per our need we can just change the configuration of the hadoop cluster without affecting the operation of this particular cluster so that is something meant by highly scalable so this was all about the features of hadoop i hope you would have understood what are the features of hadoop if you would have learned something from this video then please do like share and subscribe to my channel till then keep learning and stay tuned for getting the latest videos from this channel thank you so much